Hi guys, uh, welcome to MZ Lotus for another week. Uh, run us through the week. I thought blowing yesterday, he was super. He uh, got a long way back and, uh, and charged the line. He sort of, his last couple of runs, last prep, was sort of, he was off the ball, so it was good to see the old blowing back. He got a long way back and then sort of power to the line. And uh, I'd imagine sort of go up to sort of 1400 next start, same grade, and uh, he'd be mighty hard to beat. So that was good to see him back racing well. Uh, let's get into the runners this week. Uh, runners this week, uh, pretty busy uh, getting this guy overthrow off the races, hence the video will be short and sharp, but uh, been a long process to get this horse back to the races. Uh, he's had almost, uh, yeah, almost eight, nine months off and uh, he's had sort of six months in the paddock, so he's a uh, long process, but uh, really happy with him going into his first up run. Uh, Ricky De Bono jumps aboard, so... I think it's been 12 years since Ricky's uh, had a race ride, but um, he's actually been our farrier here for the sort of last sort of 18 months, and uh, Ricky's done a really good job to get himself back to the races, just like this horse has. And uh, he, he was actually Jamie's uh, apprentice a long time ago, and uh, I know Jamie. Uh, yeah, Jamie always talked up uh, Ricky as as far as his race riding goes and his tactics and things like that. So uh, really happy to have Ricky aboard today. He's got to know this horse really well at the trials, and uh, yeah. He Probably he's a, he's a really good horse for Ricky to sort of kick back to start his um yeah just uh, his riding career as such. But uh, yeah, he's our farrier here, so he's a he's a pretty integral part of our stable, and uh, yeah, really keen to get this horse back to the races as, as it's been a long time. So um, see how he goes. First up at Bendigo, thousand metres, he'll jump, squeeze, he'll he'll be there running the speed, and uh, we'll sort of be holding our breath late. But he's a super fast horse here at the farm, and uh, yeah, couldn't be happier uh, going into his uh, first up run with Ricky aboard. A uh, couple of runners at Geelong, uh, there's actually two in the same race, first one being Cape Lame, uh, had a little troubles with her just with muscle enzymes and things like that but I think we've sorted that out and uh, yeah really keen to get her back to the races, she's uh, she's sort of gone a long time between her first up run but uh, she tried up really good at Geelong um, heading into that uh, heading into that race and um, yeah I think she's a horse that uh, yeah sort of She's going to be a horse that's going to be better off next time. She's a bit of a temperamental, highly strung filly. So, um, yeah, she, she should just jump out, find a nice spot, and uh, really keen to see her hitting the line. And, um, yeah, and then we can sort of work out whether she needs to go up in trip or not. But, uh, yeah, she's, she, I think we've got her right. She's galloping up really well. She's trialled up uh, well since her first up run and, um, yeah, keen to get her back to the races. Boulder County, uh, the second of our runners in the 1200 metre race at Geelong. Uh, we had both those, actually had both those fillies in at Donald on the um, on Monday, but we scratched them due to the heavy track. So happy to take them to our home track, uh, 1200 metres. Uh, she's a filly that uh, has trolled up really well. She shows plenty of speed and um, she, uh, yeah, she sort of just jumps and, and uh, sort of finds herself you know, one, two, three. So uh, keen to get her to the races. She's tried up well at Geelong, so she knows her way around there. Um, she's a horse that's been a bit of a, a work in progress just with her manners and her barrier, especially her barrier manners. But uh, we're sort of on top of that. Uh, probably a credit here at the farm, just having the barriers here that we can spend time with these sort of fillies and uh, we've got her right and uh, I think she's a horse that's certainly got a bit of ability um, it's just sort of harnessing that and um, and keeping her all together but uh, keen to get to the races um, see what she can do sort of for first race uh, I'd imagine uh, she's going to be a horse that'll come back in next time in and really improve so if she can be competitive here at Geelong uh, I know that she's got a bright future ahead of her. Uh, Redivo will go to Geelong also in the 2200 metre uh, benchmark 58. Uh First up run at Geelong in a 64 grade, I thought it would um, it had enough merit to it. Um, that was sort of the, certainly the strongest grade that he's contested. So um, I thought he certainly held his own, and we know he's a horse that once he gets to that really big trip, sort of you know 2400 and beyond, that uh, that's sort of where he really comes into his own. So um, I'd imagine he'll sort of hopefully just posse up that pair closer. And um, and the main thing is that he's hitting the line really strongly. He, he won at Geelong over the 2400, so. I'd imagine that, uh, 
uh, yeah, the 2200 Benchmark 58, that'll be, you know, if you can sort of be around the pace getters, then I know that uh, going up to the 2400 metres next start that he'll uh, he'll take a power beating. But uh, yeah, he seems to be galloping up well. Uh, really happy with him and uh, yeah, hopefully he can sort of acquit himself well at Geelong. Uh, he does have a big weight. That's, that is the, probably the question mark, certainly with a small horse, but uh, uh, hopefully he could, acquits himself well and uh, yeah, he can take his uh, track work uh, that he shows us here at the farm to the races on Friday. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, this week's horse is a horse called Cat Noir. She's a merchant navy filly, two-year-old filly. Um, she's done a really good job this time in. She's had a couple of trials and uh, she'll have another one at Geelong on Wednesday on the grass. And uh, if she um, tries up well, then uh, she'll go to the races um, in sort of a couple of weeks time. She's a really nice sort of staying type of filly. She, um, you just sort of jump out, let her travel and, and let her find her feet, then uh, you see that uh, she really hits the line really strongly sort of in her trials, as you can see, um, even on the synthetic, um, which is a, a track that you can, you know, it's, it's hard to make ground up. She, uh, I really like the way that she hit the line and even probably through the line and passed the line. She almost went another half a lap with Robin. So uh, she's a horse that, uh, she just does everything right. She's nice and sound. She's happy, happy, healthy horse that, um, yeah, just pleases and uh, every gallop that we give her, she continues to improve. So uh, she'll probably have to go for a break at some stage, but a uh, lot to get her the races, give her that one sort of run over 13, 1400, put her away and then bring her back for these, uh, those nice staying uh, three-year-old sort of fillies races. But uh, she's a really nice filly. She's only small, but she tries her guts out nice and sound and uh, uh, she sh certainly shows us enough that uh, she'll be uh, competitive, uh, sort of come back to, coming back into the spring. That's it for another week at Ames Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck to Ricky today, uh, riding overthrow. Uh, check the results, see how he goes, but uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure he will acquit himself well. Uh, Boulder County, really interested to see how she goes. Uh, sort of first up to the stable, she's trialled up well, so uh, hopefully she runs well too. And, and the other horses at Geelong, I'm, I'm sure they'll uh, be more than competitive. Uh, yeah, good to go. have a couple of runners back at the, back at the races. Uh, it's been a sort of bit of a quiet period, but uh, we're really busy uh, next Wednesday. Got dra grass trials at Geelong, so uh, we'll have a lot of horses, including sort of Prince Iggy, those sort of horses coming back. And um, yeah, good to see how they've all come back and uh, yeah, be a busy day and uh, hopefully we can uh, find a few winners coming out of those trials. Until next week, see you later. Okay, runners this week, uh, you want to move mate because you're about to get run over. Um, uh, actually no, I won't say that, say something else. No, I won't say anything like that. That's, that's, I, probably, I won't even mention that. I won't even mention Looking forward to the up and coming stable um, season for the stable next year. Um, really, yeah. No, you're making me say bloopers now. That wasn't even a blooper.